Hello, I'm Avinash and in this video we will go through the steps to set up alerts in RulePoint. We'll start by creating the required objects in a specific order, connections for the source and the alert, the source itself and its associated topic, the responder and the response, and finally the rule. We'll then deploy these objects and verify the alert results. The scenario we'll implement is to trigger an email when a recent record in the customer information table does not have a contact number. To ensure only new records are read, the source column validated is used. The value in this column indicates whether that record has already been processed. We configure the rule point source object to read only unprocessed records. We also update the value of this column as and when a record is read. This is the Cust Info source table that has four records. The fourth record for customer Evan Wang does not have a contact number. Also note that the validated column for all four records is either N for no or null. Once the records are processed, the validated column will be yes for these four records. We'll now log into the rule point UI and start creating the various objects. All objects in rule point are created within projects. We'll first create a project, project demo, and create the other objects within this project. We'll now create a connection for the source, which is an Oracle database. We provide the connection name and select the type SQL connection. We'll then provide JDBC connection details like the driver class, the connection URL, the username and password. We can now test the connection and once it is successful, we can save this connection object. Let's proceed to create a connection for the alert. In this case, an email connection. We provide a name for the connection and choose the type email connection and provide basic detail like the email server. We test the connection and save this connection object as well. We now create a source object that represents the Oracle table. We provide a name for the source and choose the type SQL source. We also choose the Oracle connection we created earlier. We specify a select query that reads records where the validated flag is either not equal to Y for yes or is null. We also specify an update query that sets the value for the validated column to Y for all the records that are being read. During this step, we also create a new topic. At this point, we only specify the topic name and do not create any properties. We click on save to save the topic and then choose the newly created topic. We can now test this source and if successful, we are prompted to update the topic. Click OK and notice that the topic is updated with properties which correspond to the columns in the table. Click save and then save the source object. The source object is currently invalid because there is no schedule attached to it. Click on create schedule and in this case we'll choose the default dynamic schedule which runs every two minutes. We'll now proceed to create the responder object. We provide a name for the responder object and choose the email responder type and we also choose the email connection that we had provided earlier. We fill in the mandatory fields like the to, the subject and body of the email, the content type, text or HTML, and the from address. The subject and body of the email shall be enriched to later. To validate the responder object, we create a corresponding response. Click on create response, enter a name for the response, edit the subject and the body of the email response as necessary. In this case, we will enrich the email body in, within the rule. Click on save and then click OK. We now proceed to create the last object, the rule. Click on actions, new, advanced rule. 
required a name for the advanced rule and the DRQL rule statement. The rule checks for records in the customer information topic where the contact number is not specified, in which case it sends an email response where the body contains details about the customer. Click on save and then click OK. All the objects are created, we now proceed to deploy them. Click on Actions, Deploy, Rules, Sources and Responders. Choose the rule, the source and the responder. The other dependent objects get deployed automatically. Click on Deploy and click OK. The source is executed as soon as it is deployed. We can see the execution details in the Dashboard tab. Click on Dashboard. Here we can see that the source has read four rows which created four events out of which one of the row met the rule condition and the rule got activated thus generating an alert. The email gets generated and it contains the customer information as specified in the rule. Also notice that the validated column for the four source records is now updated to Y based on the update SQL mentioned in the source object. In short, we started by creating the various objects required to generate an alert. We deployed the objects and verified the results. For more information on configuring rule point objects, refer the rule point user guide. Please send your feedback on the video by writing to support videos at informatica.com or the infasupport Twitter handle. Thank you for watching.